there's some uh, cool products I've been using in my fish room recently. And I want to go ahead and share them with you because I think they're, uh, they're pretty good and they could make a difference in the overall health of the fish. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first product is crushed coral. And for those who have African cichlids who need to be in a, uh, in a high pH like these here, using crushed coral is pretty common. As a matter of fact, using crushed coral as a substrate or a, an ingredient or part of the substrate is pretty common among African cichlid keepers. Nitric acid or nitrites are buffered and really kept in check by, by the minerals. The minerals that are added to the water with, with the crushed coral. And that's very important in aquariums like this one here. But what a lot of folks don't realize is that crushed coral in an aquarium, even like this one here, is not a bad idea because it can add minerals to the water and that calcium and magnesium will help to stabilize your pH. In other words, it can actually prevent a pH crash or shift that could kill off fish. So even in a planted aquarium, a little bit of crushed coral is not, not a bad idea. I just run it under rinsing water until it runs clean. And it'll take a little while because it's, uh, it usually comes out pretty dusty. But uh, then you just go ahead, just add it to the substrate, mix it in. And if you have a black substrate, you might want to put it uh, in a mesh bag inside of a filter. But for the substrates that I have in several of my aquariums, just dropping it right into the aquarium works fine. The next product I want to share with you is, uh, is salt. I'm currently using some uh, salt in this aquarium to help heal some of the scars from uh, some hole in the head that I was treating. The salt can promote healing in the fish. I once had a fish that ballooned out like a porcupine with some bloat. I was sure he was a goner and a treatment of salt essentially one tablespoon per five gallons brought him back really, really quickly. So I became sort of a believer in using aquarium salt. Another product that you'll find in a lot of my aquariums are these catapa leaves. Sometimes they're called almond leaves, catapa leaves. And uh, I've been getting them from the aquarium co-op and I've been dropping them into some of my tanks. There's one floating back there in the back of my uh, beta tank. This is that little 29 gallon, what I call my beta penthouse tank. It creates some tannins. Even some, think, some folks think it adds some minerals. The fish will peck at it. So it uh, you know, helps to create kind of a more natural environment for the fish. I also add it to my uh, to this live bear tank, you can you can see one floating up here. The fish will hide under it. Uh, fry, which this tank always has, there's one right there. Will hide in it. So I'm definitely including them in just about all of the tanks. This tank has one that's disintegrating right here. Over time, they just they just turn into dust. There's one in here also, you can see it buried back there. There's two of them in here. There's another one, I think, behind that plant over there, that artificial plant. But I've been using them quite a bit. You just rinse them off. I just like to rinse them off, just getting dust off of them. And then just, just go ahead and drop them in. Easy peasy. They'll gradually like find a spot in the aquarium, settle down as they saturate. You can see one down there that's that's sort of decomposed in the back there. And you can pull them out when they get to that point or just leave them alone. They don't really hurt anything. So 
So there you have it, three items that I've been using recently in my fish room, and I am happy with what I'm seeing, and I will continue to use them. I get, I get them from um, my friends over at the Aquarium Co-op. I'll put some links below, and uh, you can check them out and uh, do a little more research, look into them, see if they're right for you, and if they have a place in your fish room. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and you know hitting that uh, that subscribe button and the bell. Let YouTube know something good's going on. And uh, comment below. Let me know if you've used these products. What's been your experience with them? And if you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a member of the uh, Garage Gang. This is a garage, as you can tell by the garage door back here. <laughs> and uh, you can be a member of the Garage Gang and a monthly Patreon supporter. All right, and. If you'd like to, uh, if you'd like some more information on different products, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a video link uh, right here that you can, you can watch this playlist. It's all about, all about, uh, uh, all about products that I reviewed, and you can hit right here, and uh, and you can go ahead and subscribe by hitting that button there. All right, thank you, my friends. You're the best. See you again soon. Bye bye.